And now to vote 2016 and a big day for Democrats. Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine made their debut together in the battleground state of Florida. The ticket giving supporters an early look at how they plan on taking on Donald Trump. The candidates outlined their strong difference between their campaign and their competition. They did not back down from attacking Donald Trump, reacting to his speech at the Republican National Convention. Local 10 News reporter Leanne Morejon is live at FIU with the story tonight. Leanne. Well, Cheyenne and Carlos, a representative for the Clinton campaign, said it was extremely important for them to not only make this announcement at head of Monday's convention, but also to do it here in Florida, a key state in this election. Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine stepped out in front of supporters Saturday at Florida International University. It was the first time the two appeared together since Clinton announced Friday that Kaine would be her running mate on the Democratic ticket. I have to say that Senator Tim Kaine is everything Donald Trump and Mike Pence are not. Kaine was elected as Senator of Virginia in 2012. He is a husband and father of three adult children, including a U.S. Marine. Y bienvenidos a todos. And is also fluent in Spanish, a skill he showcased frequently throughout his address and one met with thunderous applause each time. I'm grateful to you, Hillary, for the trust that you've placed in me. And we're going to be compañeros de alma in this great lucha ahead. Kane taking time to introduce himself to voters while taking jabs at Donald Trump along the way. Do you want a your fired president or a your hired president? Thousands packed the arena Saturday morning, many waiting out in the hot sun to snag a seat inside. Most people we spoke to say they're pleased with this partnership. I think he's an excellent pick because he's a moderate and hopefully he can appeal to some of the Republicans who aren't happy with Trump as well. I think her choice uh, was, was, a, was a choice made, made uh, for qualification. <laughs> The tensions boiled over outside as supporters of Republican Donald Trump gathered and protested outside, with some Clinton supporters shouting back in anger. Democrats tell us they're united with a single goal this November. We can't let Donald Trump win. And aside from that small protest that took place outside of the arena here, we also saw a plane fly up above urging Clinton to stop the beatings of the ladies in white in Cuba, a message unique here to South Florida. For now, we're live at the campus of Florida International University, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.